I'm Kathleen Rush Hall. America has been called the great melting pot for many years. After all, almost all of us are immigrants. How many of us, though, really know about our ancestors, their culture, their traditions, their language? In Albuquerque, New Mexico, I met a Navajo jeweler named Curtis Plantero. Join me as we learn about his fifth generation silversmithing business. My name is Curtis Platero. Platero in Spanish means, plata means silver. Platero means the maker of silver. Silversmith, that's how we got our name. When the Spaniard first came here up the Rio Grande, Beldiv means the big bell. That's Old Town, the church. That's where they used to do all the trading. And um, we used to trade with um, tools, shovels, axes. The women used to trade with materials. That's why the material of the women's, all, all the velvet dresses, shirts, that, that's, that's where it came from. Before that, we used to use buckskin. But now, with the clothing that was provided by the Spaniard, that's how they came up with the dresses. Uh, well, silversmith first came upon was when um, the Spaniard showed us coins at different of their leaders from, from Spain on their coins, just like the American coins. We liked it, but when we had it, we couldn't, we couldn't chop wood with it, we couldn't dig holes with it. So we started stamping on coins. We started making designs on the coins. And then when the Spaniard came back, every summer you'll hear the bell ring. That's telling us that Spain is coming to trade again. So we came and we just gave them back all our coins. Once they got the coins, they saw the designs. That's why their horses have all these silver coins. Their saddles have all these decoration of silver coins. Their hats, their uniforms, everything. Their belts. That's when we first um, introduced our type of work to, the, uh, to Spain. They liked the work, they, we started trading back, they started giving us coins. They couldn't say our Indian name, so they gave us that name, Platero, which means silversmith, the maker of silver. Plantero creates Navajo storyteller bracelets among his many other pieces. Each bracelet is unique to the Navajo silversmith who creates it. Everything on this bracelet represents his family and their life together. It's on each end, that's why I showed you the pictures of my daughter. Shailene, that's why the beats are on each end. And then my kids, here, or just by the wagon, that's how I came up with the Navajo Storyteller, using the, um, the wagon. And the background is where all the buttes are, that's why I put it here, here. Curtis Platero is dedicated to passing his culture, tradition, and storytelling to the next generation, the sixth generation. I like my, my children to get a career, go to school, get an education, get a career, and do this on the side as like a hobby, keep the tradition going, the silversmith. Why is that important to you that they keep the tradition going? Uh, going on four, like I said, it's five generations, it'll be the sixth one, um, just to keep that tradition going, to keep the story going. It's just, it's, it's, to me, it's very important for my son to continue and then their, their kids, so they know where our name Platero came from. The life of the Navajo storyteller carefully crafted in silver. A reminder to us all of the importance of remembering our family traditions for future generations. In Albuquerque, New Mexico, this is Kathleen Rush Hall for Georgetown University.